Hey, what's going on guys? I'm here and today in front of me we have my two subwoofers which um, you guys have seen in one of my videos frequently when I do the LEDs for these videos. Uh, what I did is that I hooked this up so I can turn off on and off the LEDs but this is not what the video is for. The video is how to hook up a car amplifier to these. Now there are many ways to do it and many ways to fail. This is the way I succeeded. So here we have the Pyramid America 5000 watt bridgeable monster MOSFET amplifier. This is a two channel, two ohm stereo stable. You can just read it right here. And over here we have a 12 volt 30 amp power supply. Now there are 12 volt, 25, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, even up to 150 amps. Uh, power supplies, but they're gonna be more expensive as you go and as you can see I had them connected here to the amplifier now how uh, Did I do this? Well, okay, it's disconnected. I took a Neutral live and ground cable Which is this cable and you connect it to the ground which is here neutral and live wire And you can see you connect these three and this will go to your wall outlet then you take your negative, or as they say here, the ground wire, and you connect it to the negative side. Now here where it gets tricky, you have to get, connect one wire, and you have to split it into three, to three of these. So when you connect it, it connects as one over here. So that's gonna be a bit tricky, but you'll find it out. And you'll do the same thing for the positive side. Connect three of them, convert into one, the same cable, and connect to the um, plus 12 volts over here. And then you want to, with a little wire, actually you have laying around, you want to bridge the remote and the 12 volt so you can so you can bypass it. Then of course you're gonna install your speaker wires over here. And after that, you're gonna be able to play your car amp. But make sure to buy the appropriate amps, 12 volt, 30 amps, since this is a 30 amp fuse, I don't know if you can see it, 30 amp fuse. And when we connect it, right now, you're gonna see a little light come up and the power on light. Now I'll just get my iPad real quick. Give me a second. All right, I got my iPad here. And now we come over to this side to the input wires over here, you're gonna see it says input. You're gonna put your RCA cable and I have this adapter because this um, 3.5 millimeter jack won't go in my, my case. So then I'll just connect it to the, there we go, to the, the iPad. So everything should be wired up. It's connected, it has cable, it has a power. So this should be powered up, and when I click play, it should play. That's how you power a, a car amplifier to your house. All of these products will be linked in the description if you want to buy them just in case. And that's it.